Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to share with you a, it's not Vera, so y'all don't be mad because this is not a Vera video, even though I love Vera and most of my videos are and will be about Vera. But I do throw a few little, little things in there for y'all. Um, I don't carry leather bags at all. It's just not something that I do. I quit eating, this is just personal, a little fun fact about me. I quit eating meat about like four years ago or so, and I decided around that point that I wouldn't carry leather anymore. Um, so I, I'm always looking for, and I sold all my leather bags, so I was just like, ready my life of leather. Um, which is a personal choice. If you like leather and you eat chicken nuggets, do you. I'm, I'm not here to judge. Um, but during that time I also tried to start um, acquiring new bags and looking for different brands that are not leather um, but that were still cute and that's why I am functional and uh, well made and that's um, I had loved beer before I ever quit wearing leather um, but I got really back into it when I stopped wearing leather um, so I'm always looking for different things that are not leather um, and that are man-made and synthetic um, that are cute and functional as far as bags and accessories and things so I came across this um, brand called Lug L-U-G Lug um, I saw it on QVC I had never heard of it before and they carry a lot of their products um, and I did some impulse purchasing, which is something I do from time to time, um, in the fall, like around September, just a little, little click, you know, you know how you, how you do you impulse online, just that little click. And I bought me two bags and recently I bought one of their wallets, um, that I'm using right now. So I wanted to do a little review, um, on what I think of their brands. So I have two bags here. I'm oh, sorry. Let me get comfortable for this. So, the first one is the Ranger. Lug Ranger. It's not bad. It's not a bad. I carried this for about a month. Um, their bags, I've noticed, are very um, kind of utilitarian, some of them, um, as far as not a whole lot of of um bells and whistles just you know a lot of function but i do think this is cute i mean there's not a whole lot to it um but it is cute you know i think i think it's cute and kind of like a basic plain way and this is called the box car and it's very it's in heather gray it's some kind of polyesterish type situation i'm really not sure what it's made out of um so i carried this one for about a month i enjoyed it it's kind of kind of small um well no, i wouldn't say it's small i said maybe a medium size bag it is a crossbody with the adjustable with the adjustable strap the front has like this little cell phone pocket which i like that actually just your little cell phone in there now i noticed because of how it's shaped in like this kind of square boxy shape it's box car or is this the ranger this is the ranger never mind um there's one coming up called the box car that's shaped pretty much the same that it um you can kind of get it it stuffs it oh, stuffs. it gets stuffed very easily and kind of bulks up on you so depending on what you have in here it can be kind of hard to put your cell phone in here i did notice that it gets bulked up pretty easily um you got the inside smooth zipper pull you got the inside you got what's in here you have these little id card holder things i never use these things in pocketbooks i mean i carry a wallet i just want to feel safe putting my id and my debit card in just an open pocket i guess you could use this as a um, built-in wallet if you wanted to but there's just not enough in here for me there's like two credit card maybe three or four Evidently, I can't count or speak tonight. There are four, and then four slip pockets, and then an ID. Um, like, if you're into that, and you feel safe putting your money and debit card in there, I mean, have at it. I don't really like it. It has this uh, nylon polyesterish lining in there, so I guess you could wipe it clean if you spilled something. So, you, you know, you can throw different stuff in here or whatever. It's a generous pocket. 
on the back, you have this little zip compartment right here. It's kind of padded too, so um, I guess you can put your phone in there if you wanted like a little extra protection. It's a generous pocket there as well. You can fit my whole hand in there. You just like throw my keys in there. On the end, oh, it has this little, little top thing right here to carry it. It's gusseted on the side. Let's see. It's gusseted. And then in here they have two, two, two zip wall compartments. Now the first one is this kind of built-in cosmetic. It's not very deep at all. But then you have two slit pockets right here. You have all this room in the middle and then flip it on this side and you have a wall compartment. That's a little bit bigger than that clear compartment. I noticed a lot of their bags have that like built-in cosmetic. I'm not really, I don't, I don't like that very much. Um, I just don't think you could fit a whole lot in there. I mean, like I get it. It kind of takes up, it, it, you know, it leaves you some extra space because you're not putting your own makeup bag in there. I just, I'm just not really into it. I think it's kind of chintzy. Um, Cause what happens when that kind of cracks and breaks um, over time, then you've got like this messed up makeup bag plastic thing in your bag you can't take out unless you cut out. I don't know. I'm not into it. <coughs> um, maybe over time I'll like it a little bit more. Um, then you have this bigger slip compartment right there. So all in all, um, it wasn't a, it's not a bad bag to carry. I did, you know, like carrying it for a month, but it does bulk up a little bit. Um, I don't think that this is made with the quality that beer is made made with, but I do like this uh, bag, and I think that over time um, I might want to try a few other of their bags. Um, but I know this this is not beer quality. At least the two that I bought, I don't feel, and I do compare a lot of things to, to beer quality. But it's not a bad bag, and I wouldn't I wouldn't discourage someone from trying to give it a try. So this is the Ranger in Heather Gray by Love. Then, when I bought that one, this thing is, is, is hideous. I don't know why I bought this next one I'm about to show you. Like, it's uglier than Sin on Sunday. I don't know why I bought this. Like, it, this, it, this is bad. I, I, it was truly an, an impulse situation. <laughs> this one. <laughs> and this is called the Boxcar by Lug. I have not used this. I'm going to use it because I swiped my debit card on it. I'm gonna use it. I just haven't used it yet. Cause it's just, just, just ugly. It's just, it's just unattractive. Um, it, and I've waited too long to send it back. So it, it's mine. Um, it has this, as you can see, it's probably blinding you right now. This um, reflective, I don't know why I bought this, it's so ugly. Um, it's reflective situation the functionality is nice on this bag um it's similar to the ranger um has the little little part right here but this is ugly oh my god this bag is uglier than sin on sunday um it has these two zip pockets and this is a deep deep pocket right here i think this one because it's got the uh kind of like the felt lining which the uh ranger had with the in the cell phone pocket I think that this is probably the cell phone pocket on there. I don't, why would, I don't know why they would put this reflective. Like, I'm not the crossing guard. Like, I, I, I don't know why they put this up here. Furthermore, I don't know why I bought this, but it, it was just an impulse buy. I think I like the functionality of it, but didn't realize just how hideous in person this reflective, <laughs> reflective stuff was going to be. Because um, it's like all around like all around <laughs> this is so ugly um and then on the back but i'm gonna use this i'm gonna carry this ugly bag because my debit card was swiped for it so I, i'm gonna use it um just because it's mine but it, it's not a trade um then you got this back back this back pocket with the zipper closure on the back just like the other one um deep pocket that's kind of padded 
This is something I've noticed some of their bags have. Not the, the Ranger, the gray one. And this is in, well, it's black, but it's called something else. And I can't remember what it's called. Might be classic black. I don't know. I got it on QVC. I don't know if you can check it out. This is something they have a lot of. It's to hold water bottles or whatever. When you're walking around in life, you get a little thirsty. You got your water bottle in here. And then when you're done, you can just kind of snap it back. A lot of their bags have that. The Ranger doesn't, but, but this does. Okay, this, it doesn't open as wide as the Ranger and there's no gusset. Um, got the zip wall compartment in the back and two slip wall pockets, split pockets, excuse me. And then, oh, and they have, it has this one, this little key bungee thing. But I would never use something like this because I just put my keys in the bag zip wall compartment. Compartment, excuse me. And then they have that built in plastic cosmetic situation. Now, this is bigger than the other one. Like, it goes all the way down. You can see it. I think. I feel like this one doesn't open as wide as the other one. You see? Um, I don't know, y'all. It has a crossbody strap with the adjustable buckle up there. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, like I said, I haven't eaten. Well, I do know how. I think it's ugly. Um, I don't know why I, I bought this, but I did, and I'm stuck with it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Um, is that, ooh, what is this? I don't know what these are. I just noticed that. Like, what do you do with that? Do you like put things in there? Are these two? What do you do with them? Y'all know? I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use it. I'm grateful that I was able to buy something that I didn't like, you know, that, you know. Not ungrateful that I was able to purchase something that I did not like because, you know, sometimes you just want a little present. And even if it's something that you're not really into, I'm grateful I was able to buy myself something, um, even though this is so ugly. Um, I might, I hope that yeah, it has like a little structure bottom to it. Hopefully, um, maybe I'll, uh, hopefully I'll like it a little bit more when I start to carry it. I don't think I would hate it so I don't hate it. That I would dislike it so much if this wasn't just so reflective -y. I don't think reflective these are. Um, it's just so bright. But I bought it. I knew it had this on there when I bought it. It, it was just a bad choice. So there's that. Then I got their wallet. Now this is cute. Um, this is called the Splits wallet, and they have a Splits Deluxe. This, which is bigger. This is the Splits. Um, this is just the call of splits. <laughs> it's in Dragonfly. Um, so it has a little logo tag on it. It's so cute. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. It's so cute. See, it's got like two zip ball compartments. And this is the wallet I'm using right now. A little changed part on the back. Let's see. So in the front part, it has this whole thing. And I keep like receipts and um, credit card, gift cards. Um, appointment cards and you have like one two three four five six walls uh, and I don't have any cards in this part so you can see it like one two um credit card slots and then you have I'm not doing this any justice y'all and then you have this little slip part right here you can slip a little cash in there if you want or whatever um and then, yeah, on the second part, and I've, I've taken my debit cards and stuff out, um, your ID compartment, and then you have one, two slip pockets right here for your debit card, credit card, whatnot. Under here, you have a little compartment, and you have the ID window, of course. Um, and under here, you have a little compartment to, you know, put little things, and then another one right there. And then your little place to put your dollar bills. Um, it's cute. I've used this wallet for a couple weeks. Um, <coughs> I don't change my wallets as much as I change my bags. So, I'll probably carry this 
for a while longer. Um, I like that it's small. Even though it is small, it holds a lot. I got this off QVC as well. Um, so even though it's small and compact, it holds a lot. I didn't have to take anything out of my wallet, the other wallet I was carrying to put in here. And I was carrying um, a Vera. It was one of the accordion wallets. I didn't have to take anything out of there to fit. Like I didn't have to put things away um, and not put in my new, in my new wallet at all. Fit right in here. Um, so I do like the wallet. Um, and I do like the other bag. It's just the one with the reflectives. I don't like that at all. Um, so, those are my review on my Lowe products um, that I bought. Um, they're okay. They're all right. Um, it's not It's not Vera, but it's cute. It's cute. I don't like that. Ref the reflective one is ugly. But the, the gray one, the Ranger, I think that's kind of cute. Um, and they do have some other cute bags, so check those out. Um, like on QVC, and you can get them, of course, on like eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and stuff like that. Um, so thank you all for watching my review of my Lux products. Um, I'll be making a video, hopefully this weekend, um, with what's in my bag. I'm gonna change my bag out, um, probably to a Vera. So check that out. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much.